Here are some examples on how to draw the Lewis dot structures. It turns out that there are three different elements or compounds that we're going to work on. So the first thing you want to do is calculate the number of valence electrons. So carbon has four valence electrons, so two times four plus six times seven equals 50 valence electrons. In this case, you would have been provided that there is a CC bond in this molecule. So we know there are two carbons connected to one another. The six fluorines are going to go around those. So the guidelines for Lewis dot structures tell you that once you place all of these, you want to add any lone pairs. So each fluorine gets two lone pairs. That one got lost. And so from here, we want to verify that we've used all of our electrons because any remaining electrons would be put on central atoms or used to create double bonds. So if there is 8 times 6, that's 48, plus 2 more is 50, and those are all of the valence electrons that we had. So this creates a larger molecule where you would be provided structural information. Okay, next we have ammonium chloride or... NH2Cl, so let's calculate the valence electrons. 5 plus 2 times 1 plus 7 is going to equal 14. So nitrogen would be our central atom. Okay, so we have a nitrogen. We're going to connect a chlorine, a hydrogen, and a hydrogen. Chlorine is going to fill its octet, so it now has 8 electrons. Hydrogen only requires 2 for octet. Those are both done. We should count up to see where we are, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The two remaining electrons will go on the nitrogen atom, just like this, okay? So next, we have an aluminum trihydride. So we have three valence electrons for the aluminum plus three times one, which equals six. So we know that this is going to not make octet because there are not enough electrons just starting out. But the aluminum is going to be our central atom. So we're going to create octet all the way around, two, four, six. We have satisfied this. Remember, aluminum is one of the few that does not have enough electrons to make octet. So its octet is actually six. All right, last but not least, we have one more. Your valence electrons are going to be five plus three times one, which is equal to eight. All right, phosphorus is our central atom at our exterior. All three of these now have octet, so we've used up six of our electrons. The last two end up on our central atom. So to create a Lewis dot structure, you count your valence electrons, put the central atom, connect everyone, fill octet, remaining electrons go on the central atom, or you can create double or triple bonds using your exterior atoms to achieve octet on your central atom.